How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about diets. How do I evaluate a diet? Um, and in particular, how does, uh, what, what do I think about the fasting mimicking diet? So recently I had someone approach me about uh, the fasting mimicking diet. And the way this diet works uh, is apparently over the course of like five days, you drastically lower the number of calories you're consuming to about 800 and primarily uh, those 800 calories are comprised of fats and a small amount of protein and carbs. Um, and so this individual came and asked me uh, what I thought about the issue. And so I, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a personal trainer. So the way I'm going to view this is in the context of personal training and whether or not this diet is good for weight loss. And so um, when evaluating any diets, there are two really important things we need to consider. Number one is what is it doing to the total number of calories we're consuming on average? And number two is uh, what is it doing to uh, the, our total macronutrients on average? And so if we evaluate this diet in particular, what's happening is um, we're drastically redu reducing the number of calories we're consuming across these five days once a week, or once, sorry, once a month. And so when that happens, um, if you're eating, say, like 2,000 calories a day and you, for a week, you drop it all the way down to uh, 800 calories, you're going to be in a 1,200 calorie deficit across those five days. And so if we know like it takes 3,500 calories to drop a pound of weight, um, we're going to be losing weight across these uh, five days because we're going to be in a calorie deficit across these five days. But if we jump our calories all the way back up to what it was before, I would say by week four, our uh, weight is slowly start going to start to increase. And then the next time we drop everything back down, uh, we're going to be in that calorie deficit for the first week, and then we'll slowly start going back up again. Now, uh, if we compare this to whether, like if we just ate 2000 calories, throughout the entire month, we're going to obviously lose weight because we're eating less total calories with this diet than we would be um, just eating that 2,000 for the entire month. Um, so is that bad? Is that good? Um, it's, it's okay. Whenever we're evaluating um, diets, we're going to be losing weight if we're in a calorie deficit and that's what's happening here. Um, what is a little bit sketchy to me about this diet is the fact that across those five days, we are drastically, we're almost cutting out two macronutrients that are really important for our body's uh, metabolic processes, very important for our body's uh, ability to recover and rebuild uh, our cells, you know, the protein, the carbs. I, what, a, a big red flag when it comes to diets is reducing um, a macronutrient, especially two macronutrients in this case by a significant amount and the fact that they want you to uh, enter ketosis you're going to be consuming a very little amount you know like 10 grams of protein and like you know 25 grams of net carbs something like that and it's it's going to be rough on your body for those five days and your body is going to not perform as well across those five days so as a personal trainer, if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to make progress in the gym an entire week, you can't, or you're struggling to because you're lacking the energy and the nutrients to uh, hit your workout hard and then come back the next time uh, after recovering and, and do the same thing over again. It's it's kind of taking a step in the wrong direction. So instead of using this mimicking diet to get ourselves in a calorie deficit, what I would recommend is understand the total number of calories you're at, reduce that by about 200 to 300 calories, um, primarily coming from fats and carbs, you know, weigh yourself at the beginning before you do this, and then weigh yourself each subsequent week and see how your weight um, changes. And if your weight, if you're losing weight from these small changes, continue to do that. And if you're not, then uh, enter a little bit more of a calorie deficit. So drop it again by 200, 300 calories. And, and over time, you're able to get into the same calorie deficit by uh, making smaller, more reasonable changes opposed to doing some drastic, you know, 
yo-yo diet approach once every month for a couple of days. But so. you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to try out this crazy uh, fasting mimicking diet, you know, no one's stopping you. It's my two cents on the issue. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know and I will make a video about it. All right, see you guys next time. Peace.